In today's video, I played a FNAF game called Shadows Awaken. Inspired by Silent Hill PT and Five Nights at Freddy's, your goal is to avoid Freddy and survive the night. All right, everybody, here we go. This kind of looks like the room from the first Saw movie. Like I'm about to be chained to a pipe or something. Okay, so we're starting off with a cutscene. Now, this game is supposed to be inspired by Silent Hill PT with like a FNAF twist to it, so I'm excited for this game. I do see the inspiration just from this intro right here. Although, in the Silent Hill game, I think you move around in that beginning room. I wonder if we're gonna like loop back in there at some point. What? Oh. Oh, okay, got a little voice acting. What just... All right, now what's our objective here? Objective is updated. Press escape to view the menu panel. Okay, so begin the chapter by finding the Freddy plushie. All right, so we got our task here. Let me see. So we have a kitchen. Is this a living room? Interactable objects. So we have instant and press and hold. So the first type instant allows interactions by simply pressing the left mouse button. Second type press and hold requires the user to hold the left mouse button to interact. Well, shit, that's going to get me killed a thousand times. I really hope I don't have to sit there and like hold the left mouse button to open doorways because that's probably the number one mechanic that gets me killed. That and when I have to sit there and swing the door open manually, that's got to be one of the worst mechanics in any horror game. All right, so I just tried to sprint back and forth and you can't sprint in this game, so I'm not sure what to expect or how scary it can be. I know it's inspired by Silent Hill, so I don't know if I'm going to be finding like clues or anomalies or it's going to be like FNAF or there's a survival mechanic. Thank you for tuning into this broadcast. We have some breaking news to share. Five missing children have been discovered deceased, and the individual suspected of the crimes is currently unaccounted for. This gruesome act of homicide occurred at the former location of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. During the incident, the assailants used a meat cleaver to claim their first victim. Damn. When law enforcement arrived at the scene, they found a young girl who had their mouth slashed open as if Damn. her jaw had okay, hold on. Can I turn that off? Skull. All right, all right. We don't need to hear that. It's a family-friendly channel over here. Okay, so, so far, I haven't found a plush yet in this, what is this, computer room? Not in the kitchen, not in the living room. I haven't been down this hallway. I'm going to assume it's probably upstairs. So let me check down this hallway real quick, and then we're going to head up there. They got windows into the bedroom? I feel like these are oddly placed. That's so weird to me. What is this, a room right here? Got a room over there, so I'm going to check right here real quick. Kid's bedroom. Ooh. Why do I feel like Foxy is waiting for me in this closet? What is this, a key? All right, how do I pick it up? Okay, so we got that. Objective still the same, find the Freddy plushie. All right, this should be the final room. I'm going to assume the plushie's in here. God damn, it's dark over there. Oh, there it is. All right, so what am I supposed to do with you? Just carry you around? All right, pick him up. Chapter one, the centipede? The centipede? Hold on. Who is the centipede? Is that Freddy? He's a bear. What What are we talking about? Is it me? Am I about to get piped by Freddy? Hold on. Let me see something. What is our objective still? Okay, so find a flashlight. All right, so I'm going to check upstairs, and then hopefully it's up here. All right, so this is the only room I haven't checked in yet. I think it was a bathroom. Let me see. Okay, so there's a flashlight. But I don't like how it's strategically pointed at the shower. Am I about to get punched in the chest by animatronic? Hello? Somebody in here? No? Okay, let me grab this. All right, you found a flashlight. Uh, this item is useful for illuminating dark areas or like a light source. Press E to toggle the flashlight on and off. Okay, so I have no reason to ever turn the flashlight off. Was that doing that before? All right, let me get out of here. Oh, it's locked. Hold on. Bro, is he about to spawn in here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. All right, all right. That is locked. Do I need to find a key? All right, no key yet. Oh, where's the light bulb? This can be used to replace bulbs and broken wall lamps, restoring them to full functionality. Keep an eye out for damaged lamps as you explore. Repairing them could be key for illuminating dark areas. How important is that going to be? I have a flashlight. I don't think the flashlight needs a battery. I think I can spam this thing. Okay, so I have to sit there and, like, twist it in, though. All right, so that's good. I should be able to leave now, hopefully. So, so far, basic mechanic, we have a flashlight. Doesn't take a battery, I'm gonna assume. And then we can change out the lights on the lamp. Oh, shit. Damn, hold on. I didn't even mean to hit that. 
Bro, why did he holster it like that? Ooh, okay, he kind of tactical with it. All right, let me lock in now. All right, what's the... So, find interactable paper drawings. All right, holding space puts the player into a focus state, sharpening their hearing, allowing them to detect sounds beyond the physical world. The longer you focus, the louder these sounds become, so take your time when tuning in. The direction you're facing is crucial. Ensure you're oriented toward the area you want to concentrate on. Keep in mind, the player remains immobile during the state, so choose your moments wisely. Ooh, I got the damn six eyes out Follow here. The music. That kind of sounded like Gregory from Security Breach. All right, all right. Let me hit the focus real quick. Ooh, okay, so I can... I can tune into the cursed energy. All right, this man, Freddy, about to find out why I'm the strongest. All right, so something is coming from this direction, either in the living room or where we started at. Oh, yeah, it's right over here. Let me see. Got a drawing on here. Did Freddy draw this? You are not safe in the dark. That was such an abrupt cutscene. Hold on, pull this back out. Can I pick this up? All right, so the player's anxiety level gradually rises with prolonged exposure to darkness, creating a sense of escalating tension. However, staying near a light source helps calm the player, reducing anxiety over time. The heart icon serves as a visual cue for anxiety, with the incut or with the icon becoming more visible as anxiety increases and fading out as it decreases, offering a clear indication of the player's current state. Oh, okay. So find interactable paper drawings. That's why we can change out the light bulbs. All right, hold on, pull that back out. So those should go out, and we have to change it. Oh. What the fuck was that? Uh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Is that Freddy? Bro, why is he built like Bane from the Arkham games? This dude even has the tubes, man. Oh yeah, that is a Freddy we do not want to mess with. Okay, hold on. Let me see something. If I turn around, does he... Okay, he doesn't move. My character's about to start tweaking out. All right, let me leave. Oh my gosh. He even has the Looney Tube gloves. I'm sure it's about to be brown when he's done with me. Dude, he looked crazy. Repel. So find a camera. Ooh, I didn't like that music. All right, all right. So if I was a camera, where would I be? It's got to be in the computer room over here. I'll try to be standing in here. Of course. All right, so no camera. I can't even really check in there because he's in there. Oh, here we go. So the camera is right here. Now, I wonder if you die in this game and like it sets you back. Hold on. So you found a camera. Press Q to equip or unequip. Hold right mouse button to release a bright flash, which can illuminate dark areas or repel the centipede. Okay, but I was as I was saying, I wonder like if when you die in this game, if it sets you back and objects like spawn in different areas. So if we take a picture of Freddy, he should disappear. Is he still in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so the game just keeps building on the mechanics. Okay, so I haven't found Freddy upstairs. Let me check down here. Wait, there's a drawing. Let me click this real quick. So pierce through the darkness. Bro, I swear these cutscenes are so random. Hold on, pull that back out. Okay, so the drawing is still there. I don't know why it hit me with like a cutscene and then spawned me back at the beginning. Let me grab this real quick. So pierce through the darkness. Focus flash method. While focusing and after maintaining focus long enough, use your camera's flash while focusing to reveal unseen figures or threats, allowing you to pinpoint their location. Keep in mind, the longer you focus, the sharper your senses become. Take your time to reach full focus for maximum effectiveness before using the flash. However, be cautious. Each use of a focus flash slightly increases your anxiety level. So our newest mechanic, so if I focus in and then take a photo. Oh, okay. So that's how you need to hear the voice now. I faintly heard it again. I think it's downstairs still. Okay, it sounds like it's coming from the starting point. A threat has made its move. It can go invisible at times. Watch out. What? Oh, no. This man got the active camouflage. Okay, I need to keep my spidey senses on point. This is a light bulb right here. All right, so we'll keep this with us. So, I don't know. Can I repel him when he's invisible? Or do I have to avoid him? <laughs> I 
The centipede has the full or has the ability to turn invisible at times. Pay close attention to sound cues as signal when this happens. Once he's invisible, stay highly alert as he could be anywhere near you. Remember, he cannot be repelled while invisible, so focus on pinpointing his location and avoiding him instead. Okay, that answers that question. I just don't know what his sound cues are. I think it's his laugh. So focus mode. Oh. Okay, he's right down this hallway, so we have to avoid him. Dude, this game is super dark. Let me change this real quick. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Bro, somebody give me a damn almond water. Please. All right, all right, relax, bro. Just breathe. Just breathe. You're okay. You're okay. Ooh. Just breathe. You're good. So the ghost has moved. Follow the voice. All right, all right. Dude, that's a little suspenseful, man. When your character starts freaking out. A presence of a ghost has been felt. This will increase your anxiety depending on the scare intensity. Watch out. Scare intensity? What does that mean? Okay, heart rate is picking up. Just, just relax. It's the perfect time to test it right here. Okay, so our heart rate is still spiking. No, it went down. He's down that way. Oh my- <laughs> He's to my left. I think. I, it's hard to hear him, man. Oh my god, dude. What am I supposed to do about that? Let me see, is he still there? Okay, so you gotta really sit there and hold the focus. These lights are about to go out. Oh my gosh. Coming from that room. I need to get in there ASAP. Oh my gosh. Yeah, for this game, you guys gotta really play this one slow, man. Because you have to, like, listen up and hear where Freddy's at. Which is also difficult, because you have a sanity meter. And you gotta keep the lights on to, like, lower the sanity meter. I'm gonna assume if it drops too low, he can just grab you automatically. <laughs> oh my gosh, the lights just went out. This is not good. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm risking my life right now, but I need to get downstairs. I don't have a light bulb. Come on. Come on. I feel like I'm about to die. There's no way I made it down here. Please, please, just relax. You got this. You got this. Come on. And, uh, say cheese. That's right, bitch. Alright, I'm gonna flash this hallway. There is some light down there. So as long as he's not over here, I can book it to the light after I do this. And then I should get my sanity back. Let's go. Oh my gosh. He's near me. Should be at the bottom of the stairs. Yep, got his bitch ass. Okay, and there's a light bulb in here. Hold on, dude. My sanity is about to start freaking out. I feel like I should have saved that. But fuck it. We ball. All right, now is he still at the bottom? I really should have saved that light bulb. Still there. There's another one. We're good. My sanity is about to go out. Okay. So I heard the knocking. I walked away. 
I'm not sure if this is how that works, but if you hear like this little loud knocking, I think if you can get away before it starts like really banging on the door, you should be okay. He's definitely that way. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, one more try, y'all. <laughs> one more try. And then if I die, I'm giving up. And I'm about to link a video in the description of someone else beating it. Look! Oh, it's dark. Oh my god, the light went out. Oh. Alright, yeah, this is this is this is wraps right here. I'm dead. This is a GG. Is this out? Gotta get in the room. Dude, I don't know how I made it out of that one. Ooh. That is the second time I got way too lucky this video. So the ghost moved from the area. That's good. Just need to let my character calm down and then we'll find the next voice. Damn. That's about to go out, I think. <laughs> Pull this out for a second. Is there any light bulbs in here? No, that didn't go out. That was another one. <laughs> Where? Of course, man. Of course. Michael, what? I can't, I can't fucking breathe. Oh my gosh. Please, please. I think this is it for me now. There's gotta be a light bulb somewhere. 